Ten years after the complete nuclear annihilation of the United States, a handful of survivors live in vaults. One of these vaults is Vault 76. For ten years, the occupants of Vault 76 have thrived and survived. But now, the vault has lost contact with the other vaults across America. Worried what this means for the future of the vaults, the Overseer is sending vault dwellers out to find out what has happened and try to re-establish contact. It is not known what will be found outside the vault, especially as it's only been 10 years since the bombs fell. With this in mind, it has been decided that those sent out will be the worst of the worst, the bottom of the barrel of Vault 76. This is where your plucky group of survivors start their post-apocalyptic adventure. Fun for the whole family. Fallout Wasters, now with Let Free Ink. It is you who will be... Oh, for God's sake, Lizzie, put that down. No. No, you can't have a toilet break. No. No, you can't reattach a testicle. No, your testicle will not grow back, and there is no way to undo disintegrating your friend's testicle. You're okay, dude, what that. you're saying sounds very, very pointed, and this was all a hypothetical, yeah, totally just like did scenario. not happen, fake scenario. You can give me back my laser gun anytime, by the way. Okay, you can give me like, back my left okay nut, thing Lizzie. <laughs> <laughs> I love the like, just give me back my ball, whatever you want, as if it's like in a jar in her room. Uh, the um, the uh, person at the front of the room who's giving you this small kind of lesson is now writing down furiously whilst looking at Lizzie and at Daniel. Just kind of like, yep, something to do there, and then points it off. Any more questions? How much longer is this? Well, uh, we're at the very start of the videos. So when do we get the free Tostino pizza rolls? At the yeah, end. Do, do we get the uh, do we get the free pizza at the end, or can we watch it? Can we eat it whilst we're watching? The free pizza is in the wasteland. He says with dead eyes. Oh. <laughs> Does that mean? But hey, there's, there's free tricks. pizza somewhere. Yep, there's free pizza somewhere. Now, let's look at your special perks. Can everyone see what I'm about to play? Mm -hmm. No yeah. pizza's not one of them. Projector. Right, this is a small uh, vault tech animation which will be showing to generally everyone or uh, everyone in emergence day, which should be in around 12 years from now if all goes well. Uh, to show you exactly how to use strength in special skills. <laughs> Alright, does anyone have any questions about the strength? Uh, uh, I have a question. Yep. Um, it said that we shouldn't use the paddle ball as a weapon. Yes. Uh, why not? Well, a paddle ball generally won't damage the enemy, or at least I think it won't. I mean, have you ever been hit enough. by one of those? They're really, the balls are really hard. If you want, you can take one of those out with you, instead of any of the other equipment that we'll provide. I think I will take one. <laughs> okay, just, you, to... just, just so I understand this. Just you'll, in case. You'll want to take a paddle ball <coughs> instead of what will be a 9mm pistol. Or a 10mm pistol. No, not, not instead of, but I'm sure I have like space in, my po in a pocket somewhere. Okay, I'll note that down. I, I put my hand up. Yep. Where do I get the power fisting glove? In the wasteland somewhere. We don't have any here, but we do have note that there is a lot of that equipment, as well as uh, super sledges and 
uh, other kind of melee weapons which are improved with technology in some of the more military er uh, military areas. You might try with the um, army bases that are just east of the mountains, <laughs> if you can get over the mountains. I have another it. question. Yes? Uh, how come we have paddle balls but not power fists? Because They're this is a recreational vo uh, recreational vault. We don't have any military hard uh, equipment within this vault. I'm I'm gonna lean in and whisper. Uh, we don't have shit in this vault. Like I'm kind of glad we're going to the wasteland. Uh, who are you saying this to? Uh, Dave's character, whose name I can't remember. That's okay. I can't remember. <laughs> Are you, are you just going old and senile? Is that, is that <laughs> a new character? Oh, he should be in his like forties right now. So I don't know if you can be senile. Maybe he has syphilis. We don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, that's what, that's um, when you when you buy a Mothman, you pay more than a bottle cap for it. Back yeah. when I played the Silver Shroud. Uh, I did extensive training in hand-to-hand -hand combat and firearms training. So, uh, yeah, I'm I'm quite excited to get my hands on some of that stuff. Was, wasn't it a radio play? I was just about to say, why do you do all that for a radio show? It, it started off as a radio show and we were going to do a uh, live-action show, but it got cancelled because... Uh, you know, the end of the world. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that they cancel a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah, that, or they fucking recast you, which is what happened. <laughs> no, it got cancelled because of the end of the world. <laughs> no, no, you I'm keep telling sure yourself I saw that. it in theaters before the end of the world, and you weren't, you weren't yeah. in it. There was actually, there was like three seasons in a movie, I think. No. Yeah, it was actually really entertaining. Who was who was the actor again? Oh God, uh, Amelia something. Amelio yeah. something. Am Emilio oh. Everhart. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. Was great. That that wasn't the real. Yeah. That wasn't the real thing. That was uh, that was a remake. But I thought you said it didn't happen in the first place. Yeah, it didn't because of the end of the world. It got remade instead. <laughs> but we saw it before the end of the world. Yeah. I mean, I was like 12, or no, wait, I was like, I was like 8. Wait, now now that I think about it, did it, I was like, didn't they, they say you that you made a scene at the eight. red carpet premiere because you weren't invited? Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. about. Okay, everybody, <laughs> if we're done with questions about strength and how it helps you uh, carry extra equipment or terrify your enemies or helps you with larger weapons. Shall we move on to the next clip? Oh, I have one. Of your I have raised my hand. What, one last question? Yep. How strong do you have to be to lift a mothman up by like the size? Well, a <laughs> mothman is a mythical creature, so that's irrelevant. Hey, you take that back. I will not take it back. <laughs> Mothman is real and we know it. <laughs> well, that's the whole reason we would agree to this, for God's sake. <sighs> okay, next. Uh, oh my God. Are they just trying to get the monster fuckers out of the vault? <laughs> <laughs> Brief intermission of the next <laughs> advert before proceeding with the next video. Ready? Yep. I used to hate those fucking things. Somebody drew a dick on the one where it would have been atomically correct and nobody, like, <laughs> did anything about it. They they literally don't come out and fix them unless they're actively killing people. Yeah, and even then it's, like, somewhat iffy if it's, like, a lesser-used platform. Hmm. Okay. Why do they even have to advertise for that? That's literally one of the only modes of transportation available only than walking. I don't know, dude. They were literally just had these people, um, like, 
specifically for each one of these videos there's like a uh supporter uh, who pays a little bit to have something played in front of them. We're just l legally obligated to play them, even at the end of the even... fucking world. That's that awesome. is some good contract. I had. I am I don't know their lawyers were, but damn. Mm. Wouldn't the lawyers be dead at this point? How would they even be able to track you down to figure out that you breached your contract? Lawyers are kind of like cockroaches, you know? They, they They'll just... find you. Oh. Yeah. Okay, uh, here's the next one. Perception. What can everyone tell me about perception just before we start? Ain't that the shit that comes out of the sky? And okay. it gets wet on the ground? <laughs> Alright, playing the video first, yeah, that... apparently. <laughs> that's, that's precipitation. You're thinking of the thing the doctor writes for you. All right. Does everyone have any questions about perception? Nope. Wait, I have, Not a really. I have a question. Yep. So, does this give us free reign and permission to steal shit? Yes. In fact, you're actually. Yes! You are actually encouraged to steal as much shit as you can in the wasteland. I raise my hand. Yep. What about just wanton destruction for the sake of it? Uh, yeah, sure, but try not to bring it back to the vault. No promises. Wait, um, out of character. Uh, what do I have to roll to, uh, wait, who, first of all, who's sitting next to me? Uh, I'm guessing, uh, uh I think, um... Glizzy's sitting next to you on one side. I think you're at the corner of the room nearest the door. Uh, next to Lizzie will be Dave's character. I think Dave's character is called David, which is weird. Or is it Dan? Oh, nice. <laughs> Maybe. He's going to remember that. We'll okay, see. Are we so sitting in like a what... triangle or are we sitting in a line? Sitting in a line in tiny school desks that are a little bit too small to you. Okay. Oh, so we're not like sitting like right next to each other. No. I still want to try this. Um, what do I have to roll to try to steal uh, Lizzie's Nuka-Cola bottle cap? You. Okay. Give me a moment. You bastard. You've a I've <laughs> uh, your goat tests showed me how much you were. So if your thieving is higher than their perception, you automatically steal it. I don't have it right in front of me. Do you remember what my thieving was? Yep, I have it. If your stealing is at zero. Damn it. Kitty! Sorry, Whoa, you gotta roll or does it not work like that? Mm. You it's can rewrite your. Uh, I will allow you all to rewrite your perception after you leave the vault. One time. Uh, I still want to try this. I, I, I still want to try to steal Lizzie's bottle cap. Okay, let's have a look. Do I. Do I see that? Uh, I'm checking your stuff right now. I do. hope your perception is also at zero. That would be really fucking funny. <laughs> Stealing is at zero, so it is going to have to default to perception. Oh, fuck me. You very probably steal their stuff. Heidi's put their perception down to two. <laughs> what? How did I do that? To raise stuff with intelligence, I think. I don't remember putting it. Oh, right, because it's five as a base. Okay, that makes sense. Hmm. Okay. How do we know if we've stolen or not stolen something? Um, <laughs> like, how do you know if someone's stolen from you? Yeah. You, you... No, no, no. Like, how, when, like, he's taking something from me, like... I, I'm assuming because our numbers are set in stone, like, we know whether or not that's going to succeed already. Yeah, you'll know it straight like, up. Uh, you, yeah. It does take away from you. You've got two perception. It default. If you have zero with stealing, it defaults to your original uh, str uh, um, special. Uh, so your special is two. Uh, let's have a look. I don't think... I think your, your perception is two, and I'm pretty sure agility... 
has to be against the perception. So I'm just checking things is per uh, perception, uh, agility. Eight. Yeah, you're fucked. You've lost your bottle cap. Wait, so in this game, do we not roll at all? It's just You like roll in to... combat. Oh, okay, okay. It's you strategically as as use your perk, your perk cards to be able to change your stats. And when you level up, which will happen qu uh, frequently, every game you'll probably level up once. Um, you'll get more perk cards and more points that you can change. I'll also have a free... Everyone can change their percentages at the very beginning of the game once we're outside of the vault. Okay? Okay. Oh, and in replace of uh, these bottle cap, I switch it out with a little note that I wrote, and it's just like, R.I.P. Left Nut Smiley Face XO XO um, Danny Boy. I'm sorry, you can't quite do that. You need four intelligence to be able to write in English. Did okay, I? Can I write it in the language that I do understand? <laughs> you put you scribble stuff, and it just looks like squirrels. <laughs> do I, I was going to suggest that? just drawing a frowny face? You can do that at free perception. At free. Can I also I know... draw a left testicle? Do I? Do I know that? <laughs> you don't know what left is, and your perception is too low. Oh. I'm afraid. I'm fucking stupid. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping I noticed so I, I could make a comment like, this is how you lost the last one, buddy. How did I get to college? Yeah. Oh, I, your parents. Uh, weren't you the guy who, like, your parents just let you do shit? Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. oh, am I smart enough to write? Uh, you should be. Give me a moment. Like, is Dave smart enough to write? That's gonna be weird. I should be. God, you're it, like, educated. If none of you can write, that's really depressing. <laughs> that's a lot about the vote education system. And you're a teacher. Uh, yeah, Dave can well, write. I... Uh, Dave's oh, quite okay. intelligent. I teach, I teach drama and theatre. I... <laughs> You've got charisma as well. Like, one of us, only one of us could read and write. Uh, yeah, Chai, your uh, your character doesn't know which way left is, so it can't draw a left nut. I'm sorry. Oh, I mean, in real life, Chai doesn't know what left is either. So, oh, That's make right. an L with your thumb and your pointer finger, and the one that looks like a real capital L is the left. Hold on, what they the both look L? like L's. L. What is? Oh, that? I'm yeah, out they... of character right now. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, out of character, that doesn't work for me. They both look like L's. Well, when you Thank write you. a capital L, like, you do the line and then you point yeah. towards the direction. Well, yeah, you're like, I, I, mean, I, understand, I understand the that. Of how I feel. You write your L's backwards? Sometimes I can't remember which way it goes. So I just it goes towards I the way you day. read it. Oh, that's actually a very clever way of doing that. Thank you, Heidi. Oh, I should do that, huh? The the direction you read is right. Does oh. that help? <laughs> wait, but I also wait. I, that okay? That's gonna get confusing because I also read manga. Mm. Okay, well, you're fucked then. Damn, there is no hope for you. Your world is over. <laughs> All right. So, shall we continue with the next advert before we continue with the next? thingy or does anyone have any more questions yeah hey I'm good. Look, it's me and you fighting over a left nut <laughs> here we go hey jimmy are you tired of bullies pushing you around boy am i what if you could get rid of them forever boy am i mister Jeez, mister you see jimmy our government has bullies too wow really that's right which is why we've developed some whiz-bang new weapons, so bullies around the world never bother us again. Huh, I think I did. Hold on, I'm well, having Well, Jimmy, to... maybe oh, you mind. should just see for yourself. Boy, thanks, mister! Careful there, sport. The Batman Tactical Nuclear Catapult. Enlist now, and demo one today. 
Lizzie is just vibrating in her seat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on to the next pus, uh, next one, which is endurance. When do we get one of those? You never get that in Catapult. America doesn't exist anymore. The world isn't ended. Although, so why do you still show the ad? Because we're contractually obligated to. Can I make one? You probably could, but it'll be very difficult for you to find a mini nuke. She starts vibrating again. Uh, you might sure, we'll find get... one out in the wasteland. If you go to the military areas, I'm sure you'll be able to find them, but I'm pretty certain that the army would still be in control of those areas, so you're probably going to have to... fucking long. Yeah, you're probably going to have to join the army to get it. Oh, I... Oh, well, that's another way of going about it, I guess. Here's the other endurance. Right, does anyone I have... my hand. Uh, Yes? What the fuck do they mean by sudden loss of limbs? How does that even happen? Well, Oh, they... wait. I do know how it happens. A crazy <laughs> oh, chick with the laser. I was just about to say, of all, pe <laughs> <laughs> of all people, you should know. Hypothetically. Yes. Hypothetically. And as you <laughs> saw with the same car... Uh... And hypothetically, maybe somebody shouldn't have taken the last donut. <laughs> and hypothetically, up yours. Hypothetically, go fuck yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. This is going. This is going to be uh, quite fun, isn't it? Is there any more <laughs> questions? I raised my hand. Yep. Why uh, would a hypothetical friend be such a hypothetical? pain in the ass about such a hypothetical issue that's already been dealt with. Ah, Jesus Christ, Lizzie. And uh, Tom <laughs> raises his hand and goes, did that say eating human flesh? Oh, Don't yeah. Worry that... it. Don't worry about it, Tom. Don't worry about it. You're good. We got you, Tom. You're fine. Because I don't... I don't think that's fine, Tom. It's fine. I have some more... No. Next slide, Tom. <laughs> okay, wait, out of character. Yeah. I forgot that Felix would be playing the other NPCs in the room <laughs> along with the presenter. So so I just thought Felix out of character just snapped <laughs> and now he's talking to himself. And I was wondering when you were gonna say something. <laughs> Damn. I, I figured it might have been my fault, so I was just gonna let him go until he tired himself out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm playing the other characters as well. <laughs> okay. I've got to do different voices, otherwise that's gonna get really, really weird. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, also to answer Lizzie's question, <laughs> it's because hypothetically, at night when I'm trying to get to sleep and I need to bust a nut. I kind of want the nut to come from both of them, and not literally a singular nut. Well, hypothetically, it's a little fucking late for that now, isn't it, hypothetically? You're right, <laughs> but it still hurts. Well, hypothetically, Buster. Buster it's a shame things got out of hand. Very interesting questions, but to cut short the hypotheticals, is there any actual questions about endurance? I raise my hand. Yep. How much endurance would you need to continuously hold a mothman up by the thighs? Put your hand down, Lizzie. <laughs> okay. Next ad. This story brought to you by Vault Tech. God damn it, they put an advert in their own thing. The, that's the teacher literally stating that. He's like, I can't believe that Vault Tech put an advert in the vault for the Vault Tech thing. And he's just kind of like, you never... for a moment. <laughs> 
Have you never seen these before? Well, I've seen most of them. That one I haven't. Like, this is meant to be set for when you're meant to leave. You guys aren't really meant to be seeing this. It's just like, we're sending you out to scout. Uh, by the way, um, out of game, you can use your uh, speech skill <gasps> to convince them to let you out uh, without watching the rest of them. And you can also use the same speech skill to rewrite when you leave the vault. But I'll allow everyone to redo that anyway, because this is the first time we're playing. I'm I'm happy to watch. These are fun. Yeah. Good eye. Plus, we can get a few more ball jokes in there, I, f I feel like. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Time for charisma. Uh-oh. Right, any questions about charisma? I raise my hand. Yep. How much charisma would I need to convince a mothman to tie me to a pole like that? <laughs> Lizzie, put your hand down. <laughs> Anyone? I raise my hand. Yep. How much charisma would it take to get Mothman to tie Lizzie to a pole like that? On to the next tape. Uh, I have a question. <laughs> yep. I'm sorry, man, I tried. Can we get dogs? It, that, that video kind of suggested that we could get dogs. Yeah, if you can uh, find a dog out in the waste and convince it, you probably could use charisma to get a dog. Hmm. Wait, wouldn't the dog be, like, radiation poisoned and wouldn't it want to, like, eat your face? Possibly. But it's a puppy. It. Hmm. That, that's, uh, yeah, thank you. That's my question answered. Thank you. Very good. Anyone else? Tom? Yeah, um... Are we literally gonna have to deal with, like, huge bar fights and stuff? Because I'm not really that kind of guy. You're the leader, Tom. You'll do what you need to do. Um... Smith? I I'm gonna lean... I'm gonna lean and whisper to everybody. By the way, we're all in agreement that we're, like mutinying against Tom, like, five feet out from the door, right? Oh, I was just thinking about that. Yeah. I mean, he's not even down to eat human flesh, like... Bro, who isn't down to eat human flesh? Yeah, I know, it's like the end times, like, fucking party. Everyone yeah, because I know that's what you did with my back. left nut, Lizzie. If you got something to I, say, I raise just your hands. It. Okay, it's not like a barbecue, it's just fucking, it doesn't exist anymore. Hypothetically. Hypothetically. Everyone raise, uh, anyone in the back, if you have something to say, raise your hand. Can you say that again? It, it was cutting in and out. Anyone in the back, if you have something to say, raise your hand. As in, like, he's kind of chastising you because you were talking in the back amongst yourselves. I raise my hand. Put your hand down. <laughs> 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 uh, he plays the next uh, thing. Here we are, son. Our nation's capital. Yeah, I'm gonna have to intercede on this advert. The capital's gone. It's it's gone. It's so radioactive <laughs> you can't get anywhere near it. It's been blown half to hell. Uh, some scattered radio signals talked about monsters coming from the inside tearing and eating at human flesh so the capital's gone don't visit the capital don't visit any major city please stay within the valley because it is hell on earth in any one of those populated places i raised my hand yep like when you say monsters <laughs> like what what kind of monsters are we talking here <laughs> apparently they thought that they were burnt people but suddenly they started eating other people so like not mothmen no no wings oh okay although if you are interested in mothman which i gather you are there is a museum in point pleasant around five miles to the east for mothman 
a Mothman museum. Like, seriously? Yeah, that's where Mothman was uh, originally viewed. That's where the legend comes from. Hmm. Yeah, but like, you're just dropping this holy grail on me here, man. Like, shit. If you want Let's to, go! If you want to visit Point Pleasant, it might be a good place to get more information as to where to find the other vaults. So, that's just... It's it's doing what you want, it's doing what we want, it's all good. <laughs> well, it's not quite doing what I want, but, uh, yeah. Righty. Next, uh, video Oh, is... I just remembered, he's kind of like the, uh... Or no, no, Dave's character is... Never mind. Next video. I was going to say, yeah. she'd, she'd be saying that to, to a father figure and she wouldn't be doing that. <laughs> Maybe well, I mean, a... I am still in the room. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay, never mind. Alright, so this is the intelligence video for special. Um, at this point, Daniel has just conked out. As soon as he hears intelligence, he just goes ahead and falls asleep. He knows this video is not for him. <laughs> right, anyone have any questions about intelligence? Um, I raised my hand. Yes. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> I was, was, was going to say, um... <laughs> My dude doesn't have any questions. However, that joke about the S in science standing for safety uh, actually made him proper laugh. Like, sensible chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> I, I raised my hand. Yep. Um, I changed my mind. Is there like a, a robot man museum now? Uh, there are robots. Uh, you probably find quite a few museums and areas celebrating the new scientific discoveries we've made with robotics. You you know the question I'm going to ask. Can you bang the machines? Yeah. <laughs> there are legends of certain programs that allow um, uh robots to perform such tasks specifically designed for the protectron i believe one is called the fisto program i don't think there's any here as i heard it's on the west coast when these programs were developed i know where we must go <laughs> i advise heavily not to go to the west coast that's Thousands of miles away, and you will die. Out of game. What if the pipe not lived? Say again. I, I, in character. What is the life not lived? Okay. Uh, out of character. There is law about the western area. If you decide to just go fuck this place, and I don't want to deal with the east, you can go there, and there's like lots of stories and places to explore. So, you can. I'll, I'll probably stick with the main story. I'm. She's just mm. kind of hanging around partially. Plus, it's sort of the group decision on where we go. So, mm. Mm. I'm mostly just sticking around right now. Okay. Anybody out of character. If anybody wants me to shut up, just say so. No, it's no, no, you're good. It's good. Oh, okay. I love your question. Yeah, that was brilliant. <laughs> And the Aww. next advert before the second to last special. The Moon Monkey. <gasps> Jangles. Wasn't he in the, uh, what's the, the movies we were talking about? Yeah. Oh, the Silver Shroud Jangles. film. Yeah, the S Silver Shroud film. He was uh, the golden boy. <laughs> His sidekick. <laughs> Wait, is this the series that you were talking about that Dave's character did the raid before? Yeah. Okay. But he didn't get any of the film parts. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, I would have if it hadn't been cancelled. There is... It was not cancelled because we're literally looking yeah. at it. There's, this is a commercial for it. Dude, you didn't get the part. Nah, it was cancelled. They remade it. <laughs> they decided to remake it later on, but it got cancelled. There's a look, <laughs> look of confusion. <laughs> There's a look of confusion with the um, uh, person who's doing it going, uh, what on earth? What? Why did Vault Tech let their rivals make an advert for them in the vault? I uh, raise my get paid my hand. Yes. Well, they were probably uh, sister companies under a much larger corporation. That probably. Uh, makes I mean, a lot of sense. it's really just a polyogly, polyopoly we we got going on here. It's it's not actually. Kind of want to see if they worked. To be honest. Um, they're like little, like, metal things that look like phone booths. You put, like, an American dollar in, close it during a nuclear exchange, and then open it to leave after the fallout. If you guys find any of these out there, they might be full of things like people have hoarded and used them as temporary safes. You probably will find a lot of dead people in them as well, because I doubt that this was a functional way to deal with the apocalypse. Well, yeah, I mean, like, like the fall, that would have lasted weeks at the very least. Mm, not to mention that I doubt it would have been able to survive the blast or even be radiation-proof in the first place. Mm. Anyway, what are we at? Agility! <laughs> Any questions? Uh, no, I don't think so. No? Pretty clear? Helps you with the ability to use weapons and other such things? Everyone good? Mm. Yep. Yeah. We're yeah. all happy. Okay. Right. Well, this is your last advertisement before the last thing. And of course, we saved the best for last. What if there was a place with all the zip of Nuka Cola? Everyone like that one? Cappy's kind of a shit. Yeah, friend. Cappy's my favorite character. Huh? <laughs> of course, Cappy will be your favorite <laughs> character. Yeah, because they're awesome. Okay, I love this friend dynamic. Because Cappy would definitely shoot off Bottle's nut left nut. Hypothetically, Hypothetically. maybe Bottle deserved it. Oh my god, we're gonna lock up. <gasps> what do you have to do out? to deserve to be shot in the left nut? We've been over this about the donut. Yes, the donut. The fucking donut. I got you another donut. It wasn't even the last one. It wasn't chocolate. What's wrong with powder? You like powder. I've seen you eat powder donuts. I don't donuts. feel like powder, though. Uh, you know what? Is hypothetically. That... Hypothetically. <laughs> Ah, uh, Don, that, that video was meant to calm you guys down. Well, I suppose this is the last one. Luck. It might be the most important. After all the randomness, I was not expecting the leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> that got me a little. <laughs> well, it goes with luck, doesn't it? Yeah, no, that's, that's valid. That's valid. Very true. Um, I have a question. Yes? So, like, how do I meet, um, Miss, Miss Luck? Is there, like, an appointment? Do I have to book an appointment? Because I was, I was just thinking that before we leave, I can, like, meet with her, and then, um, and then I can, like, do something for her to, like, to be nice to me when I'm out there, and, and she keeps me alive. Luck does so, like, where do I find her? Yeah, you can probably find her whenever you need her. If you invest in luck. No, I mean, like, where's what's her address? Like, does she have an office somewhere? It's a or? wasteland. Wherever. We have no idea what's out there. Honest to God, that's it. With the, we're literally using a tourist map to try and figure out where we've got to go. 
where you guys have got to go. Wait, so if you don't know where anything is, how do you know Lady Miss Luck is out there? How'd you how'd you find out about she was in the video? She was right there. It's, she, she's yeah, a, it's a metaphor. A it's a metaphor. You metaphorically get Lady Luck. Who's that? Who's who's metaphor? What who are all these people? <laughs> Okay. My, uh, my, my dude, my dude just shakes his head, and he goes, "I have a question. Can yep. I go to the toilet now?" Yep. 